this economy. I'll show you guys what we're what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. So here in my aircraft section, these are my aircraft, November 572 Golf. Um, and November 572 Delta X-ray, the most famous Cessna in all of X-Plane world. November 572 Sierra, which is the 206 stationaire. And November 572 Alpha Uniform, which is a caravan. Um, for a while now, the Beechcraft 1900D has been stuck at KOLS for a long time. In fact, the last time that this plane flew was in June. So this guy self-made. He flew it from Victorville down to OLS, and no one has flown it since. And part of the reason why is that they're just not really, there's not an incentive to fly from KOLS. So if you click on KOLS, you'll see there's only four jobs, right? And the, the more profitable jobs are very, very far away. So you can take six people down to Mexico, or you could take um, three people to Winnemucca, Nevada, but it's the amount of money you're getting and the amount of miles you have to fly, it's just not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to reposition this uh, B-1900. And um, uh, the you can see here on this little mini-map that it's just below Tucson. So we're going to fly from Nogales International Airport up to Tucson. Uh, we may... I think I we'll, we'll we'll fly to Tucson and then we'll pick up. Um, actually, let me just take a look here. We could go to five Alpha. No, that's a dirt runway. I don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just reposition to Tucson because at Tucson we got a lot of job possibilities. So we'll reposition to Tucson. The other thing I wanted to announce is that for Air Squirrel, uh, we purchased a brand new uh, King Air uh, B200. And the call sign for that is GSQRL. It was a million dollars. It was a million dollars, 30,000, I believe. Yeah. Just over a million dollars. I wonder if it's been flown yet for the group. Not yet. So we need to reposition, or not reposition that. We need to fly that and make some money for the group. Flyboy. Hello. Look at that bank balance. Yeah, the bank balance is pretty good. <laughs> not, it used to be better. It, uh, We used to have a million in here, but we bought that we we bought that uh, B two hundred. So I'm saving up my money for uh, to buy a B two hundred for my sim as well. That's the goal. Uh, you don't get any money when you start on FS economy. You have you're kind of in debt until I'm going to reposition my aircraft and. Um, I'm going to go down here to the ramp. FBO is good. Yeah, you go in debt for until you do your first job, and then... Well, actually, you, if you pick a job correctly, you probably won't be in debt. So, yeah. You bought the B-1900? Yeah. How much did you pay for your B-1900? Just curious. Are there any flights using the uh, 733? I don't think there is a 733, but I think there is a 727. So if you come up here to airports, click on that, and then you come down here to the bottom, and you choose this airports that have this aircraft, um, you can see here all the Boeing 
There's a seven two. Oh, there is a seven three seven eight hundred. So you could fly the Zebo um, seven two seven. But the problem is, is that let's, let's pick the Zebo, right? And I want to say, uh, I'll just go ahead and search two thousand miles, whatever. I'll search for every place that has a job for a seven three seven, and we'll go to. Um, I don't want to go to Mogadishu. I'll just go to uh, Barstow. So here, airline pilot for hire. So you could you could fly the Zebo right here because it's reserved. You don't even have to rent it. It's reserved for this particular job right here. You can make five thousand dollars if you fly 541 miles it's a pretty healthy flight what you want to do is an all-in flight what do you mean by all-in flight You're saving to purchase the 1900 eventually a C208. Yeah. Yeah, I like both of them. Okay, so let's uh let's go ahead and get the plane started. Um before I do anything, I'm always going to remind myself I'm just going to leave that kind of that FS economy. I'm going to leave that kind of open up here just telling me don't forget to start. So I'll move that right down there. All right, uh, let's go battery on. Turn the sounds up just a little bit here. Oh, they're up pretty loud. All right, the battery's on. We'll come over here to the throttle quadrant and we'll go, we won't add any fuel yet, but we'll go full f prop, a little bit of throttle. The battery's on, we're going to turn our, uh, we're going to turn our beacon light on. Turn beacon light on. Beacon light on. Hmm. Navigation light on. Navigation lights on. Navigation lights off. Navigation lights off. Any collision light on. L N A V on. <laughs> That's not working. So what's interesting is it's got two options, right? On the beacon, it's got flight and ground. So is it just always on? I guess it is. Uh, no, it's not a free update. You have to purchase this one again for X.11. Uh, Gaming Reborn, uh, I th think, is that pretty much the same type of Piper? If so, I think it shouldn't be a problem. You just have to set your alias is all. Parking brake is set. I think. Oh wait, the parking brake's down there. Yeah. Oh. In the King Air, it's over here. Okay, parking brake is set. Arm the ignition. Let's hold turbines. Okay, we got a good start. I think we got volumes way down, which is good and bad.
we should release our chocks. Good engine start. Um, oh, I think I know why. I gotta go to the volume mixer. We can turn on uh, the right gen, arm the ignition on the left, do an engine start on the left. Is this a pre-work stream? Yeah, no, I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I stream for like... been going for about 46 minutes now. Can we do 8 hours? I don't know. Alright, we got stabilization there. Let's turn the gens on, turn our bus power on. Uh, we will then put auto feather to arm. Avionics can come on. Uh, we'll also turn on the EFIS. And uh, don't need any anti ice today because we're in Arizona. But we will come over to the environmentals. Turn on lowers. Bleed air valves can come open. I like the PBR on these uh, on these switches. It's kind of nice. It's not switching to auto. Very there we go. Auto. Overspeed furnace. That looks good. Uh, today's flight, I think we're going to do it at ver a relatively low altitude. Twenty-four hours are unsub. Okay, let's do it. Um, we'll go at six thousand. Let's see how plane command works with uh, the altitude setting. Set altitude six thousand. Altitude six thousand feet. Really? Is it doing? It's gonna do that? That's kind of cool, but then again, it takes forever. All right. So in the prior version, it would just whoosh, reset that. That's kind of cool. It's gonna take forever. Yeah. XP Aviator, how you doing? Thank you for the. Uh, Thank you for the new livery. I'm going to, uh, I think we're going to fly that either on the next flight or the one after that. We will, uh, we'll debut your, uh, brand new paint job. What do you mean what happened to the Navajo, Jessica? What do you mean? All right, so, uh, let's look at, uh, a few other things here turn on some lights and then I'm gonna look down here all right so pedo heat it's talking about auto feather I'm gonna hit the toggle nose wheel still haven't figured out why we have that steer fail on the thrustmaster um, you know what I should just go through the buttons and see what happens let's do that I haven't thought about that you guys have seen of my toggle nose wheel steering problem, right? So I'm going to leave that on, and I'm just going to cycle through each one of these knobs. I'm hitting every button. I 
bat's feather. Oh, snack. I'm just trying to hit every button possible to see if I... Oh! There it is! I found it! Okay, so I'll show you guys where this is. I've been this pr problem's been plaguing me for about four months. So if I go to joystick and I bring up the uh, throttle quadrant, okay, so this button right over here on the opposite side of the uh, second throttle axis, I use this for prop, but that little button right there. It's toggle nose wheel, nose wheels right there. That is so awesome. So now my plane will probably not. I didn't even know that was there. So I probably should just get rid of that. Oh, I'm so happy. Do edit. I want to say do nothing. Let's see what happens. Yay! <laughs> you guys don't understand how happy I am. Oh, perfect, Flying Jackal. Excellent idea. So, as you can see here, uh, we have a special sale going on this weekend. Bam shakalaka the 727 and the Q400 is on sale this weekend um, and we're gonna be flying it on the uh, we're gonna be flying it on the John fly stream we'll fly both of them uh, I have a little bit of uh, I gotta take some Valium and probably get a bong a Bravo Oscar November Golf in order to fly the 727 but we'll do it I love that plane it's a love hate thing I love it and then, I'm, and then, and then it just kills me uh, the Q400 I love uh, I f um, so yeah they're going to be on sale uh, Flying Jackal uh, Jack can you tell us what the price will be or has that not been announced yet uh, what we're going to be doing though is, it, is if you buy the 727 uh, or the Q400 or both uh, we're going to be giving out chunky chunks of John Fly Miles. Uh, in, in addition to giving away um, John Fly Miles, we're going to be uh, giving away probably uh, some product, do some JFM auctions. Um, yeah. The prices are, are there. Okay. So it already went on sale, per se, because it's the weekend. Let's check out the prices. So it's $23. That's the lowest I've seen it. I believe the last time that we flew this plane together on my stream, Jack, it was $25. So this is even lower. What a great deal. And then the 732 Twinjet, 32. And the 727 uh, 42. Great deals. So yeah. So what we'll do on Sunday is if you have purchased this plane starting now, we'll go ahead and start it now. Uh, then on Sunday's stream, we will uh, basically we'll take the last three digits of your order number, and you'll just tell us here in the chat. Uh, Flying Jackal will confirm the purchase, and you will receive big, big thousands and thousands. I'm not sure the amount yet. I got to figure out that, but uh, yeah, it should be a good time. Sunday Fun Day JFMs giveaways all yep. Pineapple Express will do you good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so tune in Sunday. It should be a, a good time. I, I need to I need to relearn some of the uh, of the uh, of the procedures because I I'm a little bit rusty on a few things, but uh, we'll give it a go. All right, let's turn on. Uh, let's see if plane command works for this. Taxi lights on. Taxi lights on. Looks good. Uh, we'll go ahead and program. Uh, we'll go 
flight plan, we'll go menu, and we'll rotate this down, delete flight plan, and we'll go uh, hit the cursor, and we'll go kilo, I'm going to pop this out, uh, kilo, and then we're going to use the mouse scroll wheel to go tango, Uniform Sierra, and then enter. Okay, we're good to go on the flight plan. Go at 6,000. Uh, it uses the default Garage Gamer. It uses the default FMS now. X Plane 11. It rocks. Right? Doesn't it? Yeah. And the Q400 does as well. Painted a classic livery a couple weeks ago, and one of the pilots contacted me. Nice. Yeah, you're doing good work there. XP Aviator. Good to have you here in the chat, Andre. Rudyism, hello. Yeah, Canada. And so, if have you purchased it yet? If not, get it. Get it, and you'll get a big. I think. What do you think, Jack? Should we give out like? Uh, I don't know, I'm thinking 40k? Should we give out 40k? Or should we go 45? What do you think? <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the B1900 for X Plane 11. I love this plane. We're going to taxi out to the runway now after a little bit of a showcase here. We better check our fuel, but then again. Um, well, I'll show you guys how I do that. So I'm going to go over here. Oop. Okay, so on FS Economy, I'm going to go to Aircraft. I'm going to go to KOLS. I'm going to rent the B1900D. And then I'm going to... Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're good. So the, the fuel, we'll click on my flight. The fuel down here is uh, 66 gallons. So we better top that off. Oh, there's no provider here. Is there any fuel here? There is no fuel here. No snack. So we're going to have to fly as far north as we can on uh, uh oh that's not good so how much how far can we fly that may be another reason this plane is stranded it's 10 percent fuel we might have some issues there it's actually not 10 gallons it's actually 10 percent 66 gallons but when you're in a twin that doesn't last very long. So we basically have to fly to another uh, a, another location that has uh, fuel. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, the foreflight. We're going to look at the route, and we're going to look at some aircraft or some FBOs uh, between here and Tucson, Arizona, and see where we have to land to get fuel because I don't think we can make it all the way to Tucson. Shut down one engine. <laughs> it's not a bad idea actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Canada, you're exactly right. See the I got this little reminder down here. <laughs> I always forget that. But I don't want to start it yet because well, you guys can guess why. Oh yeah, the Champion Air. Yep. Hey, hey, Jack. I have a. Uh, are you here, Flying Jackal? I got a. I got a special. Uh, a special thing that I want to show you. Flying Jackal, are you listening to John Fly? Because I got a well, I got a couple things I want to show you, Jack. 
you're here all right perfect all right so whenever you guys in life are struggling with obtaining knowledge just always remember that, you know some people have it so if i type in exclamation dev no listen up like normal people wouldn't entertain like this because it's like something that developers know you know <laughs> oh i love that let's see if this one's just i mean yeah we do get bored but i also try to entertain <laughs> let's see if that one i gotta maybe i gotta adjust the volume on that one like normal people wouldn't entertain like this because it's like something that developers know you know <laughs> wait wait Okay, so hold on. Let me let me boost, pump up the volume, pump up the volume. Let me try this one here. Like normal people wouldn't entertain like this because it's like something that developers know, you know. <laughs> no, I haven't started it yet, Squawky. <laughs> yeah, we got a ton of new sounds in the John Fly channel. You you too can purchase that sound. I believe that sound is 15,000. Uh, this one is also 15,000. I mean, yeah, we do get bored, but I also try to entertain. <laughs> uh, we also have a couple other ones, like one more, Jack, one more for you, right? Watch this one. This is enhancing the blaze. <laughs> this is enhancing the blaze. I'll, I'll show a few more once we get airborne, but I'm not going to get airborne yet. Okay, parking brake is set, and we're going to uh, turn on our air server. <laughs> yeah, gaming reborn, that one's good. We'll wait for Max to show up, and then we'll, we'll rock that one. Well, you got to start gambling there and watching the stream. Okay, so we've got uh, air server now in play. Uh, I just want to look at see where we can possibly stop for fuel. So if we go over here to the four flight view, um, here's our K O L S Nogalus. I still don't know how to say it. Um, I just, I don't know. How far is it going to get us? Um, there's not really a lot of s stuff in between here. If we look at the nav log, it's 42 miles. Uh, I think we can make it. 66 gallons? Yeah, we'll make it. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. Navigation lights on. Navigation lights on. Strobe lights on. Strobe lights on. Anti-collision beacon on. Pito heat on. Pito heat on. That's funny. Uh, turn on the fasten seatbelt signs. Reading light can come on. Whatever. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I think we're ready. We'll be doing a no flaps departure. Log in and start the flight. We gotta change the alias. Beach Craft 1900D. We'll set that and we'll start the flight. So now, if we look down here at our fuel, uh, don't have a lot of fuel. We got some in the auxiliary tanks, but not a lot of fuel. So we're just doing a reposition. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're going to advance full fuel. Lots of throttle. Parking brake is off. Master caution is off. Tow heat on. That's right. Uh, the fantasy team, we're actually going to talk about that today. Uh, the first league is full. Oh, we got a 
subscribe. Oh, this Meeper ninety five with the we sub. Got we got a subscribe. Landing gear up. We got, we got a subscribe. We do have a subscribe. Oh, look we at that. We got a subscribe. Oh yeah, baby. It was good timing there, Meeper. Thanks for the subscribe. Uh, let's get freaking going direct quick. So we'll turn. We'll then change our CDI to GPS. We got we a sub got a sub crab. Crab. Autopilot on. Yaw coming on. And we'll go, uh, yeah, nav. That's fine. And then we'll come up here and we'll go direct to... Direct to Tucson. Delete that waypoint. Alright, so hopefully we're on a direct path to Tucson. You know, Jamie, your team's looking a little better than mine. We'll see. We'll see, though, because I think my Charlie Hoffman's looking pretty good. But, of course, your Dustin Johnson is looking good. Your Keegan Bradley is looking good. But, yeah, back to... Back to... Um, um, back to the fantasy football for a moment. So... Uh, let's do... Should we do altitude select? Stop at six thousand. We'll watch it. Uh, so yeah, the first league is f is filled. Um, I'll go ahead and bring that up so we can talk about who's in the first one. You have to buy it, Jack. I think you have to, unless you did buy it and it didn't work. You have to buy it in the store. This is enhancing the blaze. Yeah, you have to go to the store. And I think you can type in exclamation store. Exclamation store will give you the instruction. Um, so yeah, just to let you guys know, we got the, the Snack Shack uh, Fantasy Football League. Uh, Fish Go Blue, St. Wolfric, Pete Hoover, uh, Plain Ben, Mike H., Sim Dude, Right Girl, DMV Bird, Iowa Flyer, Taylor, Chuckle Hut, Kinda 808, Chief Lynn, Al Smoking Team. Max and John Fly. I don't care. I'm still free. You can take the sky from me. Your streams have kept me entertained for quite some time. Cheers from Seattle. XP Aviator with the donation. Thank you for thank you for two things. One for making the Denver Broncos livery that we'll show today on the stream. Two for uh, for the donation. Uh, appreciate that. That's going toward new uh, new Bravo airports for the John Fly Pit. So appreciate the donation. Thank you for being here. Uh, XP uh, Aviator is uh, originally from Norway, but he's been in uh, the Pacific Northwest, the Seattle area for some time now. We're a little off course, but that's okay because of this mountain range. Um, we did stop. Yeah, we do get bored, but I also try to entertain. <laughs> there you go, Flying Jackal. You did it. You purchased it. Um, so what I was going to say is we're, uh, we have enough interest um, from people who we're going to start. Uh, if we get an, at least eight people, we're going to start a second league. But we need eight people. Now, right now, if you go to my Discord server, so type in exclamation Discord, D-I-S-C-O-R-D, and in the fantasy football room, we have two people 
that have expressed interest. So Mr. Dad Gamer and McShiggity Pilot. So XP Aviator or any of you are interested in, um, in uh, that second league. Uh, we won't have any overlap. So if you're in the first league, we won't we won't have any overlap into the second league. But uh, yeah, go into that room in the Discord server on the John Fly Discord and post that you're interested. And like I say, if we get at least eight additional people, we'll start that league. But we need at least eight. We have th uh, two right now. But as soon as XP Aviator posts in that room, then we'll officially have three. miles away. Our fuel is looking okay. Uh, type in exclamation discord and you'll get it. Let's do a flyby. I love this plane. So yeah, if you're, if you and, and, the, and the thing about it, folks, is if you're not into football, maybe this is your chance to get into it because it actually means something. So when you watch the game, you're like, oh, that's my guy that just scored a touchdown. I get points for that. And then I get a trash talk in the John Fox So, there's that. Uh, we're flying to Tucson, Arizona, Miniwebs. I don't have the Benny Sim overlay running right now, but uh, it's a short flight, so we won't bother with that one right now. You've played fantasy football for years? Oh, well, then you'll be a welcome addition. Uh, yeah, like I say, if we can get two, we're going to be awarding John Fly Miles, which, you know, are good. We can also, uh, we're going to issue, uh, we're going to give prizes uh, to, to, the, to, to the winner of uh, of the main league and and if we do get a second league started we'll give away some some uh, flight simulation prizes so yeah all right tucson pattern altitude is 3600 so let's do this. Set altitude 3,600. Altitude 3,600 feet. I love how it scrolls down now. I love that. That is, that's, that's pretty cool. Well done. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at is, do I want to do, I think I'll just do the visual. Well, maybe we should try the RNAV LPV approach. Right? I guess. Uh, I don't know if I have gas for this though. Uh, let's do the Arnav Zulu. There isn't an Arnav Zulu. Yeah, eleven, eleven or two nine. Arnav 29 Zulu. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's go via Wax. Sure. Okay, so on four flight. I'm going to do procedures, approach, RNAV, 2-9 right, Zulu. Actually, the best winds are... The best winds are 11. I wonder if we can read... Uh, select an approach, RNAV, 11 Zulu, GP, 11... 11 left, Zulu. Vectors, sure. There we go. We just completely changed our approach. 
Uh, so we're going to do RNAV 11 GPS Zulu. And we're going via Takub. Well, this will be interesting. We're turning to Takub. I mean, yeah, we do get bored, but I'm also trying to entertain. <laughs> I love that. This is enhancing the blaze. Check our fuel. A little low. Let's do this. Set altitude 5,500. Altitude 5,500 feet. And let's go... Uh, altitude select. Set... Okay, we're going to come down, pull back our speed a little bit here. And I think we're going to go... Direct Wason. So let's go down here. Oops. Okay, there's Direct Wason. <laughs> you said those during one of your streams, Jack. But I got some other things too. Like, uh, like let's say you lose. You lose some JFM on the roulette table. Listen to this one. See if you can recognize who this is. Oh, well, that's just fantastic, isn't it? Now lost everything. <laughs> Enhancing the place. We got a few more, too. Like... Try this one here. Like I could just go walk out into the middle of traffic naked right now and go bleh, 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 and it like just make everybody have to acknowledge me, you know, in that way. <laughs> yeah, D handy, yep. Yep. Alright, I'm getting a little nervous about my fuel situation. Good thing we have uh, standby pumps on. Uh, is this auxiliary pump? Yeah, that's auxiliary pump. Sure. Why not? Let's go direct poke him. Yeah, maybe we'll let it do the turn. Oh, we're flirting with it. This is ridiculous. I'm not gonna do this. Why? Why would we want to shoot an, an ILS approach when? Well, I'll leave that on. Why would we want to shoot an ILS approach when we're like running low on fuel? Am I nuts? Set altitude 3000. Altitude 3000 feet. Set altitude 2000. Speed hold on. Actually, take that back. Good morning, Brew Crew Brew. Let's let's just do this. Autopilot off. Autopilot off. That is a very good question. Yes, it is. 
Okay, I think I see the airport up there. I think we are... Alright, in order to switch to the auxiliary tanks... How do I do that? Is it already switched, or do I have to do it down here below or something? I think it's already switched. Yeah. Go for the auto land. Yeah. I gotta retrim here though. Great. Go ahead and put your landing rate guesses in uh, in the chat, and whoever's closest will win John Five Miles. This would be a fuel emergency. Very good memory, uh, Zerg. You are correct. So there's the runway. Got a little bit of wind here today. Hello, TMA. I mean, yeah, we do get bored, but I also try to entertain. <laughs> That's awesome. Trim it up. Trim her up. Put in a notch of flaps. Trim her up for the new condition. A little high. Gear down. You want to land these planes f uh, about 105, I think. Another notch of flaps. Got a lot of guesses in the chat. Oh, a little low. Add a little power. A little bit of trim. Coming into Tucson. B-1900. Look at the end of the runway. At the end of the runway. Two hundred. Two hundred on the nose. A little bit of a Tokyo drift. But that's okay. Flap zero. Flaps going up all the way. Landing lights off. Flight level change already off. <laughs> Landing lights off. Landing lights off. Taxi lights on. Taxi lights already on. Strobe lights off. Strobe lights off. Navigation lights off. Navigation lights off. Chill the beer. Yeah, that was 200. The G. It's always important to to note, notate the g-force was 1.49. Could have been a little spicier, but so who won? Who was closest to? Uh... To 200. Welcome to Tucson. I set parking brake. And let's cut our fuel. I love that sound. Uh, you thought I was going to break the gear again? Yeah. <laughs> Someone was right on the button. All right, so we had... Oh, my gosh. Chuckle Hut Cynic. Whoa. 
And someone bet 201. XP Aviator was one off. Oh my goodness. Wow. You have the best streaming voice I've ever heard. It's like clarified butter. <laughs> Thank you, Zerg. I appreciate that. Did you know when you get slapped in the face, it's like 40 Gs? I didn't know that. All right, let's give out some big JFM. JFM add Chuckle Hut. I, I sh you're gonna get you're gonna get eight grand for that. I mean, sorry, that was that was spot on with the landing rate. All right, let's finish our X economy flight just so we can make sure that our reposition is intact. We're low on fuel, but we have fuel now. So we'll take a quick look here at FS economy. We'll make that large and we'll go uh, log and we'll look at uh, KOLS to KTUS. It costs us 36 bucks to reposition. Because the additional crew we needed. <laughs> that was a pretty cheap reposition, actually. <laughs> so we can go look at a job now. But what I'm going to do is either on this this next flight, um, we'll do either this 1900 one more time or we'll do the Zebo right now. But I'll let you guys decide during the replay. We'll have a vote. Yeah, it wasn't too, too bad of a landing. Nice guess on that landing rate. Wow. I have a feeling we're going to be torn between the two options. Alright, the pole is now open. Let's see what this landing looks like. I went a little bit long, but I that's okay. Oh yeah, a little flare. A little touchdown. Mm-hmm. Look at the side angle. Mm-hmm. Hello, Watt. Uh-oh, Canada voted for the wrong one. Controversy. the tower saw. That tower view is kind of jacked up. Well, the 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 Pat here's this here's the positive note about buying the Q400 last week, is that you are supporting the dev. He's getting money to stay motivated to give us quality products. So it's almost like you you bought it full price, but then you gave a little donation on top of the sell price, right, to support the efforts. All right, the B1900s at uh, ten votes and the Zebos at thirteen. A minute and a half left. What's the deal with Jack Planes? What? Oh, TMA. Yeah, uh, they're on sale right now. 
Uh, they're on sale, and we're going to give away John Fly Miles, a ton of John Fly Miles, on, uh, on Sunday. Can you post the uh, cell picture again, Jack? Uh, 